friends, come to this table. This is an open feast and all are welcome. People will come from north and south, east and west, to be united around this table. We remember that Jesus often sat at tables and broke bread with sinners, with politicians and rich elites, poor peasants, the sick, the lost, the powerful and the disenfranchised, people of all races and all cultures. While we are feasting with each other, we remember that Jesus proclaimed that God's gracious love and abiding presence has no borders and no boundaries. Proclaiming to the presence of a land where all are welcome and all are worthy and all are forgiven. Where lives are transformed and empowered. Friends, this feast, the Lord's Supper, is more than just bread and juice. It is at once God's gift of grace. It is God's call to respond to that grace that is freely given to us all. So come. Come to the table where the fruits of God's justice bloom. Come. On the night before he was arrested as a common criminal, the night before he would die, Jesus joined with his friends for a simple meal. He took the bread and he broke it and he gave it to his friends saying, each time you do this, do so in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup after the supper and said, this cup is the cup of the new covenant sealed in my blood. Whenever you drink of it, do so in remembrance of me. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never hunger. He who believes in me will never thirst. So let us pray. Gracious God, we remember that Jesus joined a great banquet with Matthew, the despised tax collector. And Jesus welcomed him, accepted him, and invited him to follow him and enjoy a fresh beginning to his life. We too have been offered this fresh new beginning to our lives. And so we pray that we can extend this acceptance and promise of new life to everyone we meet, regardless of who they are and where they come from. We remember that while sharing a meal with a group of Pharisees, Jesus welcomed a woman, a sinner, an outsider. As the woman anointed his feet with both her tears and expensive oil. Jesus declared her dignity before everyone at that meal. At these gatherings, Jesus resisted the divisions of society. Jesus crossed forbidden racial and cultural barriers in society. Jesus called out injustice in the world without fear. Jesus died a lonely criminal, an outcast. And he rose a savior for the outcast. He was declared to be at once the son of man and the son of God. We pray for the strength to treat everyone with dignity and grace. For we too are called to proclaim the good news to all, to mend the broken, to set forth the recovery of sight for the blind, to restore the sick, to help, to set free the oppressed and to proclaim that this is the acceptable year of God. 